18 January, the wonder of God's power. God is omnipotent, all-powerful. The psalmist might have used God's vast creation as an example of God's great power, but instead he used the miracle of birth. Psalms chapter 139 verses 13 to 18. Conception, development and birth are perpetual wonders that an understanding of genetics, anatomy and obstetrics cannot erase. It is tragic that the human fetus is too often considered a nuisance to be removed, like a ruptured appendix, instead of a miracle to be admired and welcomed. God is personally concerned and has ordained the days of our lives with the conception, development and birth of each child. This is not the impersonal blueprint of a distant engineer, but the loving plan of a gracious heavenly father. First, God makes us he wants us to be, then he plans for a life here on earth that will best fulfill all that he put into us. The New Testament parallel in Ephesians chapter 2 verse 10, For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. Verse for today, Thine eyes have seen my unformed substance, and in thy book, they were all written, the days that were ordained for me, when as yet there was not one of them. Psalms chapter 139 verse 16. Also read Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 5, chapter 29 verse 11, chapter 32 verse 17 and verse 27. Isaiah chapter 49 verse 5 and Galatians chapter 1 verses 15 to 16. Action Assignment Thank God for the gift of life and that He knew and loved you before you were born. Pray that the world will stop taking life before birth so lightly and that the murder of unborn babies will cease. Amen.